Okay, hi everyone and welcome back. And this week is, uh, you know, this sort of mini lecture is, is really important for us to understand this concept of deportation on trial. Uh, we're looking at mass deportations of the Latinx and Chicanx community uh, and have a long dark history. Um, and the article that we're going to be looking at is this notion of like racial expulsion, right? How historians depict these deportation campaigns, right? And there was not like an official expulsion and it was categorized by the Chinese Exclusion Act, right? So the Chinese Exclusion Act was just the, you know, exclusionary act that really prevented uh, Chinese folks from arriving um, into the United States uh, through, you know, federal policy. And, uh, and we're going to delve into that in a different uh, discussion. Uh, and, and basically, um, you know, what these sort of deportation really plays a really big role in terms of like how we view um, uh, these sort of uh, previous acts of uh, preventative measures that were taken for a new immigrant group. Um, and so they did not use deportation rules and regulations for themselves or and use these to target vulnerable populations. And so it's really important for us to understand what deportation really uh, means and sort of um, how it really impacts the individual who's coming over here, not to really take anything away from, say, the, the general population, which is what that language is like, but rather trying to like make a living for themselves and make a better life for themselves. And yet, um, you know, these rules and regulations are put into place to really target these vulnerable populations, even though, um, you know, even though the, these vulnerable populations are really just trying to sort of you know, uh, react to maybe some of their own, um, you know, their their own trials and tribulations that are happening in their in their home uh, in their home countries and their homelands. 